every Tom, Dick, and Harry. I don't have a video today, but I made a commitment that for 2020, I would have a video a day. So I'm not going to break my commitment, but I'm going to post something, little clips of the day. Um, I had my day all planned out and, you know, God always said we can make plans, but at the end of the day, he has to say so. So, tell you guys a little story. So, as you guys know, um, we built our house with Ryan home two years ago. Is it two years, babe? Yeah, some, somewhere like that. We built our house, and I document, I documented, is it documented? I documented the process. I, I, rec I, Lord Jesus, why am I struggling so much? I documented the process. I think that's the right word. I don't know. I don't, don't worry about my bonnet. I'm in my bonnet. She's in her bonnet. You ever heard the saying she's in her body, so she's going to be great? Nothing no go so. Nothing no go so. Nothing thing goes like that. Nothing. I just made that up. But, um, I documented the journey from start to finish on the Ryan board and I shared a lot of photos mainly for inspiration and for you know for other people that were going through the journey and didn't have pictures to see what they were getting themselves into so I shared the process of our home if you want to use my photos for inspiration be my guest that's why I put them there so last night I went to bed I said a little prayer I was like Lord I need you to help me be successful, to be successful on YouTube so that this can be, you know, a nice stable income for my family. You know, not just up and down, you know, I want it to be stable. And I said, please, like, I think I'm ready. So I said that prayer, I went to bed. Around 5 a.m. I woke up. The husband woke me up because he was getting ready for work and I checked the Ryan board. I checked my Facebook, and the first thing at my uh, at the top of my Facebook feed was a post from a young lady on the Ryan board. And I usually don't read Ryan boards so early in the morning, but something told me to go that direction. So I started reading her post, and I started getting you know emotional because she was talking about her journey and how. It felt good when she was building and now it doesn't feel so exciting anymore and now she's settled in two years later blah 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 and she had 62 photos underneath that long post and I was like oh let me go see her journey I usually do not flip through photos on Facebook because 62 mm -mm, honey I don't got time to look through your boring feed I don't need inspiration right now I done built my house so something told me to click through. So I'm clicking through and I'm like, eh, I'm scrolling down, scrolling down. And one picture caught my eye and I'm like, why does that look like my handwriting? If you guys don't know, when we built this house, I wrote scriptures on the stud of our home. And I shared that on the Ryan board. And I was like, why does that look like my handwriting? And I was like, wait a minute, why would that be my handwriting? This is not my post. This is her posts, her photos. Why, why am I handwriting here? So I was like, whatever. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe it's too early in the morning. So I scrolled up. One more picture. And I'm like, that looks like my tea. Because I make my tea a certain way when I do cursive. I was like, that looks like my tea. Why would somebody else have the same tea as my tea? <laughs> so I'm like, okay, keep scrolling. Maybe you're tripping. So I'm scrolling. I was like, that's the scripture i wrote for my husband i know that scripture because i chose that i went through the bible and i specifically chose that scripture and i know exactly where i put it in the house my heart was like i don't deny that this time because i'm like why would someone steal my photo and use it as their own okay inspiration okay inspired but why are you using it as your own why are you passing this out as your house and you wrote this on your study okay maybe she did write it on her study okay whatever no no this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong so i made a post and i called her out for her to clarify what happened and she basically flipped the script on me Please. saying i'm petty what is it, Jordan? Plagiarism. She, Jordan said it's plagiarism. She said, I'm petty. And how I'm making a big deal about photos. 
everybody jump on her bandwagon. You know, there was a few trying to fight, you know, but they kind of like gave up after a while because the masses were too much. And I'm still standing my ground because wrong is wrong. They're my photos. You never gave me credit for them. Sure. Okay, sure, you used it. But why are you, you saved the photos, but why are you publishing them as your own? That's the part that I don't understand. You can use it for inspiration, but when you take it and share it as your own, that sends creepy message to me. Like, you're a stalker. You're stalking me. At some point, you're going to come and claim this house as your own. And what are you going to do with us? You got to get rid of us because this is your home, right? I don't know. My mind was like going at a... It was just racing. So she flipped the script on me. And I'm like, oh, Jesus. People morally and this not... It sucked the energy out of me, per se. It just sucked... The energy arguing with people on the internet suck energy out of me and god says you're not ready i said what <laughs> excuse you he said you're not ready i was like oh the prayer about me growing on youtube oh okay because if i could let one negative situation affect my day that much where you know i was arguing back I could have just left it alone and just went on about my day if I could let that suck all that energy out of me just imagine tens of thousands of people that are that way doing that to you on a regular basis and he's right I ain't ready so that's the moral of the story anyways this is six minutes long I hope you guys enjoyed the little clips that are coming after this and I will catch you guys in my next one what's up folks Mommy. what's up Mommy. so Someone posted on our community board. Mommy. Okay, hold on. Hold on, folks. I gotta feed the toddler. Come, come toddler. It's broken? Yeah. It's whole now. Look. Yeah. So, they posted. They posted on the community board that someone's been sitting at someone's patio door trying to come in. And I'm just like, I'm just like, come. I just want y'all to come. I'm standing at my patio door like all day, every day, just ready. Mm, just ready. I'm like, come in. Come. Come, sir. Come on in. Come on in because you put something in here. Come. Just come in. I want me one of them to come in. You know, allow me want to shoot something. Mm. Mm. Come in, sir. Now that fun and jokes is aside and all that and everything is said, people are so uptight. Like, people don't know when to just relax and just laugh. Just have a good laugh at someone else's expense. Like, I'm over here putting myself out there for you to just have a good laugh. And just, just relax, relax. Life is not that serious, honey. Trust me, I've been around the block to let you know that I've dealt with depression, I've dealt with severe anxiety, I've dealt with, you name it, I've dealt with it, honey. You just don't know about it. But trust me, when I say life is not that serious and it's way too short, just calm down, calm down. At the end of the day, it's all for fun and jokes, okay? Stupid honey, like I'm not stupid. It's just a, it's just a, it's just a saying. Me got me gun in on me baggy. Me got me gun in on me ba. Me got me gun in on me baggy. Mm, mm. Me got me gun in on me baggy. Mm, mm. Man, she shoot you with it. Mm, mm. Me got me gun in on me baggy. Wait, wait, me can't get the rhythm right. Wait. Me got me gun in a baggy. Mm, mm. Me got me gun in a baggy. Man, she shoot you with it. Mm, mm. Me got me gun in a baggy. I got it right. I got it. Me got me gun in a baggy. Mm, mm. Me got me gun in a baggy. Mm, mm. Me got me. For those that are not hip to patwa, baggy means panties, like underwear. Like, you know, it's just simple means, you know, you walk for protection at all times, whether it be the protection of the Lord, whether that be, you know, your steel, whatever, whatever you have for protection, you got it in your underwear. Right? So. Anywho, I'm going to go tend to this toddler. I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys.